Hey there. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to keep track of accounts in Salesforce from Asana using Unido. Unido is a no-code and highly configurable integration platform. We support all standard and custom Salesforce objects, which you can sync two ways, as well as tasks and projects in Asana. So I'll start by showing you the results and then how things were configured in Unido. So this first level of integration is between Salesforce accounts and Asana projects. So I've already synced over some strategic accounts to a portfolio called strategic accounts. And when you click into the project, you'll see data from opportunities, contacts, and cases, which are set up separately. And I'll cover a little later in the video. In Unido, the way this works is that when an account is marked as strategic in Salesforce, we'll create new projects in Asana in that specific portfolio called strategic accounts. So let me show you how this works by creating a new opportunity for Walmart. The key thing here is that I choose strategic as a type of account. Anytime you add this label, Unido is going to know to create a project in Asana and then keep the project and account in sync. I'll also add some details about the account to the description. So that account has now appeared as a project in the specific portfolio that I chose in Asana, and now the implementation team or the sales team can work out of it to manage their tasks. So I'll build out some sections. The first thing will just be manual tasks, like steps to handle the account. So it could be meetings or product and safety training. These other sections are going to include additional objects from Salesforce, such as contacts, opportunities, and cases that are linked to the account. This way, Asana can contain all information about a strategic account and will be updated automatically. I've already set up flows to sync all that data with Unido. This is all live data. So as new contacts or opportunities or cases are created or updated in Salesforce, those changes are gonna show up in Asana. So let's start getting that data flowing through. We'll start with contacts. As you can see, three new contacts have appeared. I've put their names in the task name. And then when you dig into the individual record, you can start getting some more details about who that contact is, what they do, their email, phone number, and so on. I've aggregated most of this contact data in the description of the Asana task. Though if you wanted, you could add their phone number or email to a text or a number field in Asana. We also map drop downs and much more. So we'll start to see some opportunities sinking in now. We've got three opportunities and I've added the amount associated to each opportunity as a specific column in Asana. In addition to adding the link to the Salesforce record, I've also included the close date mapped to the due date, as well as the stage that the opportunity is in. So that first deal was in a closed one stage, but these ones are still in a proposal and pricing stage. And lastly, we'll start seeing some case data sync through. So we can see the subject line for the case, as well as the status mapped to a column in Asana. There's a loading truck repair, We've got the description of the case and then the case number so teams can reference it across tools. I've mapped the case status in Salesforce with a custom status field in Asana. And as you can see, you can also add attachments. So for example, for this particular case where something wasn't delivered in a shipment, the customer may send along a picture as proof. We're also syncing comments two ways. So the team in Asana could leave a comment for the support team in Salesforce and they'll sync directly over to them. We can see that comment has synced over in Salesforce and the support team can respond and they can have a back and forth discussion. And that's all thanks to two-way sync. Any fields that Salesforce's API allows can be made two-way and you've got full control within your Nido over the direction of updates. So for customer data or opportunity amounts that you want to prevent Asana users from changing, you can just make those fields one way. The last thing I want to show before going into Unido is leaving a status update in Asana and how that syncs back to Salesforce. So let's say the team is writing a weekly or a monthly report. Things are going well with the customer. The project is on track. I've mapped that status field in Asana to a custom field in Salesforce. This way, the sales team in Salesforce can keep track of how the implementation for an account is going or how their onboarding is proceeding. So there we go, project status is on track. If the Asana team leaves a new project update and the project is at risk or off track, I've created labels to match those status fields so both teams 
are always in sync. So to recap, we've got strategic Salesforce accounts synced with Asana projects and cases, contacts, and opportunities related to that account in sync with the tasks in that project. So let me now give you a tour of Unido's flow settings that support these two use cases. We'll start with the account and project sync. So each flow syncs a set of items or objects between the tools. In this case, I've got accounts on the Salesforce side and projects within my strategic account portfolio on the Asana side. For my flow direction, I've set one way from Salesforce to Asana, though if you also wanted to have the power to create accounts in Salesforce, you could set your flow to two-way. For my rules, I've set things up so that the account type needs to be strategic in Salesforce for Unido to create a related project in Asana. And in my field mappings, I've synced the link between accounts, attachments, the name of the account, the description, as well as that project status, which I showed you synced just a few moments ago. So that's the native field in Asana synced with a custom project field that I've created in Salesforce. I also set up separate flows for Salesforce opportunities, contacts, and cases. And what I'll do is run you through the cases flow. They all have a pretty similar setup with a few minor changes. So again, I'm syncing one object cases to tasks in Asana in the project Walmart, which was that strategic account. Again, the flow direction is one way from Salesforce to Asana. My rules explain that an account in Salesforce needs to be tagged with Walmart for it to sync over to Asana as a task, and that that task will appear in the cases section within that project. This is quite similar to the way I set up the flows for contacts and opportunities. I just made sure they went to the related sections in the project. In my field mapping, you'll see some of those case fields, the case number, attachments, comments, descriptions, the subject, the link. So let's take a closer look at that status field mapping. There are about a dozen status fields in Salesforce, but the team in Asana doesn't need to know all the minor details. So I've mapped that to just three statuses in a custom field in Asana to make it really easy for the Asana team to get a high level look at where cases are at and make decisions based on them. For example, booking a meeting with the customer or sending a personal update. So this is just one example of a use case for managing accounts in Asana. You can use integration for many others, including triggering implementation projects when a sale is closed or requesting legal and security tasks from internal teams to help move deals forward. Thanks a lot for watching.